I've been searching for a brand new centre back to partner my man William Saliba and I might just have the boy here. It is a brand new fantasy FC hero with the raccoon play style and aerial threat. Ricardo Cavallio is here. For cheap and fast FC24 Ultimate Team Coins, head over to MMOEXP.com, link down below, and make sure to use my code Morsi at checkout to get yourself 5% off. So Ricardo Cavallo, six foot low high, three star, three stars. He's only six foot, he doesn't have that much height, but I've used his other version and he was decent for me. I was a fan of him towards the start of the game. Obviously, I'm dating now. And this card is linked to Chelsea. Now, I'm pretty certain Chelsea drew today. So no pending up, well, no progress towards the upgrades. In regards to the heroes, the way it works, the cover score, 11 goals. I think it was two all. So two to the 11 and two wins. I don't know, man. I don't know who Chelsea have fixture wise, but they've been a bit up and down this season. So Chelsea fans, let me know down below. Do you reckon this boy is going to secure at least one of those upgrades? Either way, we're going to review him as he is now 90 rated. Of course, low high, probably the best uh, work rates for centre backs. The pace, not crazy high, but shadow chem style has been provided here. Dribbling stats are really consistent, like low 80s to mid 80s across the board. No like super high reactions or composure, but it should be fine. Passing, good as well. If it falls to him in the box, not going to lie to you. 58 finishing, he might hit the back of the net. You never know. And of course, aerial threat is the play style that he's been given. The play style plus. You've also got acrobatic first touch, slide tackle, anticipate, block, jockey, and power header. That's mad, you know. He's got a lot of very solid defensive play styles. And the physical's no place whatsoever. Shadow Chem styles, what I've given him. We're in foot champions. Smash a like on the video. Can we hit 20 likes in the first hour? I know we can. You can make it happen. And let's see how good this boy is. It's a nice through ball. Foot race on the cards. Yes, lovely positioning. Does well there. Gets absolutely clobbered, by the way. Ref, get your cards out for that one. Oh, that's a penalty. Now, I'm 1-0 down already. I probably should be sensible here, but it's the review for a centre-back. You know what we got to do. 57 penalties, Ricardo. Ricardo, just kick it and hope it goes in the back of the net. Let's go. It was a gamble, and we get it. Debut goal, 12 minutes in, and we are back in this one. Have a bit of that, Eusebio 2-1. Do let me know, by the way, what centre-back partnership you're rocking right now. Are you getting bored of the same old centre-backs that you've been using for a while? Are you like me and just can't seem to get away from Saliba, Van Dijk, those two? I just feel like a bit of variety is needed. Freshen up, you know. So hopefully, Ricardo Cavallo is going to be the answer there. Especially considering the price. I haven't checked footbin yet, but there was an 89, an 88, a few 86s. A lot of squads needed. And a few special cards. So... Doesn't have to reach. Doesn't have to reach there. I positioned him all right, you know. I thought he was going to make it, but... Nope, it, he doesn't. And uh, my opponent takes the lead. Well done, you doggy. Ricardo, through ball on the cards now. Lovely ball to Bobby Charlton. Cafu out wide here. Stride into space. Go on. Can we get an equaliser? Oh, almost could have gone down. Could have gone down. Okay, then. Um, we'll take that. All right, into game two. We go a little 3-2 rage quit there. Gold Tamori and gold VVD. I've loaded up foot bin. The price tag for this man is a whopping 681k. I don't know. That seems a bit steep. It's got a brilliant reception. A lot of thumbs up on Footbin. So maybe I'm not seeing the bigger picture here. Of course, linked to Chelsea. Likely of upgrades. That's the one thing I'm concerned about. No offense to Chelsea right now. But there's just no consistency in regards to results. So I'm not expecting at least a plus two. So I'm basically basing the price tag off the actual card that I'm using right here, right now. In game number one, we didn't have much going for us. Potentially could have done better. He's kind of just watching the world like go by him right now. We need to get more stuck in in this game. Hopefully, he's gonna uh, gonna turn up and show to me why he is uh, worth the 600k price tag. To be fair, passing's been really solid. Oh, we're in trouble. Hold up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay then. Oh, that's a lovely interception. We needed that. We needed it. A little uh, a little glimpse of the defensive prowess of this boy. Oh. It's Almost too easy. So it's gravitated towards him. And you know what? The pace there. Doesn't look slow. Does not look sluggish. Link up play with Werner and Eusebio all the way. Go on, Timo. Come on. Hold on. What's up in the sour here? Sour pulled a hammy or something. Miguel, I've not seen that in ages. Okay, bit of trouble, bit of trouble. We've got to be positioned nicely. Jockey speed is really good. 
I mean, we get a little bit lucky, I think, in all honesty. Uh, great save from uh, Alisson, making up for it. But jockeying feels quick. My opponent does. It feels nice to him, though, and he's uh, he's fluffed the chance. But still, I don't know, man. 600k seems like a lot for this card. So doing a little bit more digging, I can see that Chelsea of Burnley and Sheffield United as part of their next four matches. Uh, today did count as well, or it should have, if it continues a similar theme to the other cards that come out on the... Uh, the day that the team plays. Um, so you like to think they can clutch up and secure at least a couple of dubs there. Burnley, Sheffield United having a shocker right now. So at least that's a little bit more reassuring. And hopefully it'll be floodgate season. I get a lot of goals. I need to lock in, by the way. Not concede anymore and get the W here. We're going to come across Roccavallo. He's going to cut back inside. Make it, Ricardo. He doesn't again. You know what? I'm noticing that. Like, being only six foot and a centre back, he doesn't have that, like long lean or lunge that a lot of the biggest center backs like Virgil and big William Saliba do have being 6'4", 6'3", etc. So could be something that definitely goes against him. Little ball roll there. Virgil makes it look too easy. Nah, there's no way Rodrigo scores from there. Oh, this game is so frustrating. Let's go, Salmon. Game on. Salmon. Instant response. Two goals in like two minutes. Through ball to Werner. That's it. Timo. 3-2. Come on. Big Patrick. Well done. Ricardo. Nice burst of speed. RB and A pass to Sal was nice. Timo Werner's in again. Timo. Oh, that's a great tackle from Tomori. Really is. Honestly, I've, I'm frustrated at how little defensive clips you've been able to get in this gameplay. My opponent has just not really pushed anything uh, towards Ricardo Cavallo. Like, majority of it's been down the wing or just keeping the ball, getting a little bit lucky with the deflections. But... Oh, through ball's good. Griezmann! Ricardo. That could be the most clutch thing you've done for me so far, my son. My opponent's pressing, by the way. Look how many shirts he's got off the pitch. And he's got the composure to find the pass. We needed that for the big Portuguese, man. Sal was in space as well. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ball roll. Finesse shot. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. That's got to be the W. That's a great ball. Ricardo Cavallo. Oof. He's switched on. He's the only one who seems to be switched on, in all fairness. So we clutched up big time there. And Ricardo Cavallo made a few nice interceptions in that gameplay. He was solid. I think the def definitely the best thing about him, for sure, is just the defending stats. Like, he's just always where you want him to be. But there's a few things that put me off the card, honestly. First of all, the price tag, 680k, is way too much. And I think there's... Probably about, you know, 10, 15 options that are better than this card right here on the market for cheaper. For example, a card that came out recently who's probably not as solid as um, Carvalho. But this might be really controversial. I'd honestly rather use this man over Ricardo Carvalho. It could be purely because of the height as well. But I feel like being six foot, he doesn't have that kind of like the long lunge that I kind of need with my center backs. I rely on too much with like the likes of Saliba and using people like Adopo and VDD over the uh, the game cycle so far. So the fact he doesn't have that lets me down a little bit. Um, in regards to the pace, not bad. Occasionally felt a little bit quick, but he's not got any blistering speed, for example. Doesn't feel lengthy like Saliba where he gathers speed over time. I like the passing. Passing's really solid. Physicals are nice as well. And the play styles are definitely a strong point, but... I think this this is going to go down as a straight up avoid for me, man. Like he can go to a ninety two, yes, that's nice, but is that real like real like real likely? Is that likely being Chelsea? I don't know. I mean, yeah, Burnley, Sheffield United. Hopefully, he's going to get at least a plus one. But for the price tag, guys, I think your fodder is going to be better off being saved or used elsewhere with future SPCs coming out. Just my opinion. Let me know what you think down below. Maybe the more I use him, the more I'm going to get on with him. But for me, I think it's a bit of a. Yeah. Could have been better, should have been cheaper, SBC. Let me know your opinion down below. I'll be more soon. I'll catch you later.